Contact this rib on the front here like this, okay? <laughs> Push as hard as you can. I'm here for it. There's a high right shoulder and it's significant. All right, well the cool thing is, is I fixed your shoulders. <laughs> Okay, so you have some back pain, low back pain? Yes, mid to low. Uh, how long back can you remember having mid to low back pain? Probably just within the last two and a half to three years. Yes. Accidents or injuries? No. If I sleep a certain way, it okay. definitely hurts. Sometimes it's like super, super low sciatic area. Sometimes I do feel it from neck to the top of my back. Mine is majority middle to bottom. All right, have you had it treated at all? Has anyone no. looked at it? No x-rays? No. Do you exercise? Yes, I love to hike. I stretch a lot. Do you have any headaches? Um, I do, but nothing like I used to. Just have those random migraines, headaches. Also, since I have heavily increased my water intake, hey, I have you. noticed a very big difference. My left hip opposed to my right hip. Now, I snapped my right foot in half. I think it was 2016. On 4th of July, it was dark. We were setting off fireworks, and I was running in a field, and there was a retaining ditch. I fell into that retaining ditch, but I had flip-flops on. Um, the tree stump landed directly in the middle and just kind of... There was floating bone fragments inside of there, so it was detrimental. When I was able to start walking again, the difference just in the pure muscle loss from this leg to this leg was so significant. So I kind of still walk a little bit like with that limp. I noticed that I feel a lot of achy pain and pressure from my left hip down to my knee that I don't really ever feel in my right side. You've never been adjusted before, right? Never, it's my first time. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Okay, I'm excited because I feel like I'm for sure going to leave here feeling completely different, but I'm also nervous. I am a little nervous. I've seen a couple of videos and <laughs> I, I am a little nervous. I don't, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it'll be interesting. I'm excited, but I think it'll be interesting. Okay, very good. That's awesome. Okay, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. Like the right side does have this funky supination, external rotation thing happening, but it's slight. It's not happening on the left. That's during the mid stance on the right foot. Mid stance, right foot, lack of support there. The arch is collapsing, the bicular is dropping. Uh, we've got a little bit of a distortion on the right hip down to the right knee, even though the left hip, left knee is the one that was hurting. And you can see that in the hip swing as it's favoring moving towards the left and it looks like it's restricted going to the right. There's no real, there's no genuvarum, no genuvalgum from the knee down, but maybe a little bit of internal rotation on that tibia on the right side. Definitely a difference between the right and left extremity. Definitely a difference between the right and left lower extremity from the knee down and from the knee back up into the hip. And so that kind of asymmetry is translating into the back, into the hip, causing some of these issues that you're feeling. Uh, a high right hip and it looks, excuse me, there's a high right shoulder and it's significant. The head is doing a good job coming back the other way, keeping the eyes level with the horizon. Come back. And it, it looks like the hip is high on the right, high right hip, high right shoulder. So the hip is just like, we're just collapsing into the hip, to the left and that's causing the right shoulder to come up, the right hip is coming up too. The arch is supported here on the left, yet, but the right it is collapsed. And so, so there's some arch issues there from that fracture. Yeah, oh, that's, uh, can you feel it? That's exactly where it was, yeah. right where you just had your finger tip at. Yeah. I use the back of my fingers, which are more sensitive to temperature. Pretty symmetrical all the way out.
no changes from left to right, top to bottom, pretty smooth. Right here, this really is just a, a significant decrease in the warmth of your spine. Like this is nice and warm over the sacrum lumbar as soon as we get into that thoracic lumbar transition. It's significantly cooler, maybe a little bit more stagnant, moist. Then it warms up again here in between the shoulder blades. Not excessively warm, no heat. I don't expect a lot of muscle tension up here. There's a slight difference in the muscular hypertonicity here on the left. This is a little bit, this is more hypertonic on the left versus the right. I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into the spine. Hypertonicity on the left is here, tender right there. Mm -hmm. Let's do this, turn to the right just a little bit. Right, I want you to compare how this feels. Right there at that, now turn to the left versus that. How is that, is there a difference left and right? Um. It's one side feel easier. Yeah. When I go to the right, it feels a little bit easier than when I turn to the left. Okay. okay this is the SI joint here, left and right. Mm, you definitely have some swelling over these. Left versus right, which one's more tender? Um, right. Left versus right, which is more tender here? Significantly on the right side, I feel a much bigger difference. Lower right SI joint. Which side is the side that you can crack, left or right? Right. Right, possible hypermobility, left hypomobility. So this may be the primary target here to get this left one moving. This is the one that's stuck. Open. Close. Open. Close. That's the movement on the right is significantly more than the movement on the left. So we're going to target left SI joint. All the hypertonicity is in the left paraspinals. Thoracic lumbar transition. We're definitely going to focus in this area of the spine right here. Right, so you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings like this. I'm gonna slide up to the bottom of the feet flat, sliding up to the bottom of the glute fold. It's lower on the right. So that means the right one and left one are torqued like this. Right back. And then looking from the top, there's not much difference. There's oh, let's check for hypertonicity here. There, there is more hypertonicity on the right glute. This is the overactive hip musculature, overactive pelvic musculature, because this is the hypermobile joint. So the muscles are working extra hard here. High right shoulder, so expecting this curvature here, this increase in hypertonicity is on the flex. Okay, there's no curvatures here though. No scoliosis, go ahead and stand back up. Okay, nice gentle breathing. We're still far away from me adjusting you, okay? I'm not gonna do any cracking yet.
Take a look at your tender. Um, <laughs> a little bit of the. Uh... Simple breathing.
nice and gentle. Take a deep breath in here. And then out. Let's see again. Actually. Okay, nice and gentle. We're gonna go like this to the side. Just let your head drop in and sink in. Okay, so this one's a little bit different, Holly. This time, as you breathe in, mm -hmm. we're gonna follow your breath and then push like that, okay? Okay, nice and gentle. Okay, you're gonna take a deep breath in and then at, at the top of your breath, I'm gonna push. Okay. Let's give it a try. Go and take a deep breath in, all the way in, all the way up. Okay, that was good. We got some of it, but not all of it. Right one is the one that cracks and is the one that's tender. The right side is the hypermobile side, so we need to adjust the lumbar on the right. Okay, so with the high, that high right shoulder is actually coming from this part of your spine right here. There's just like a little curvature right here that's causing mm -hmm. that high right shoulder. Your ribs are sticking out a little bit to the right. So I'm gonna adjust this one again, except this time we're gonna curve your spine in the direction that it needs to go. Okay. Right or left, which one's more tender? Left. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and lean back as you blow it out. Good, come on. All the way down. Keep breathing. Good. One more. Breathe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back as you breathe out. Good. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Good. Good. Oh, yeah. I thought that one. I'm going to bring, bring this uh, top leg bent, bottom leg is straight. I'm going to scoot your forward just a little bit like this. Okay, nice and gentle. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good. Shoulders relaxing. Good. Sinking in. Good. That was a good one. That was the best reaction base of all time. Okay, nice and gentle. As you breathe out, I'm going to stretch your shoulders up like this and your hips down like that. Push in that direction, okay? Okay, let's give it a try. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And out. Good, nice and loose here. Shoulders coming up, hip coming down. Very good. Little push right there. <laughs> that is insane. That's crazy. Crazy on both sides. That's crazy. And here we are today. <laughs> Better than ever. That's awesome. Good story. All right. Now, left short. Left side is still short. It's good. This is how we see what's happening in the neck. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Turn your head to the left. Back to center. Okay, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Back to center. Left ear down to your shoulder. So when you go that way, it makes it even. Back to center. So we have a left lateral flexion. And then turn your head to the left. So C1 right, lower cervical left. Let's check out occiput too. Okay, back to center. So just trying to relax into it. Nice soft breathing. Into can you tell when I'm tensed? Yeah. You can? Mm -hmm. Good. Sinking in. Let the shoulders and hips sink into the table.
I'm going to adjust your occiput on the left first before I adjust your atlas. All right, so I'm going to stand on the table behind you, okay? Okay. Okay, you're going to lean back into my leg right here. Lean back into it. Yep, just a little bit like this. Let this relax here, good. Oh. That was really nice. Yeah, that's, that was good. Breathing, sinking in here, good. Just like this, gentle. Is that the same? That was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was not the same. It was right underneath of the last one that I just did. Huh. Good job. You're doing great. It does not hurt like I thought it was going to. Okay, let your legs relax a little bit. There. Okay, this is how we adjust the ankle. Okay, I'm gonna hold your ankle like this. We're gonna pull down in this direction like that, okay? Same thing, try to let it, let it relax. There you go. All right, Holly, I'm gonna pull it down and pull it like that, okay? Okay, okay you're breathing and sinking in. Good. Let it go. Good. Use my fist in between your knees. Go ahead and squeeze as hard as you can. Okay, stop. Yeah, I did see here. Yeah. We're gonna do a digestive organ manipulation, okay? So first the ileocecal valve, we find the belly button, yours is here. Then your ASIS, yours is here. We start connecting these two points. And that's where we'll find the ileocecal valve. Yours is here, right above the appendix. Should be a little bit tender, but yours feels like it's pretty firm, which is good. Not too bad in there, right? It's because you have a clean diet. I try. That's up where it is there. Okay, next is the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach empties into the duodenum. It's two inches above the belly button. Good, deep breath in. And out. Very nice. Okay, next is a di diaphragm, diaphragm manipulation. So you're gonna breathe into your belly. Can you do a belly breath for me? No, 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 relax. Breathe, push your belly out. Good, now relax. Relax your belly. Push your belly out. Good, now pull it in. Now push your belly out. Now pull it in. Now let it relax. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna breathe in and push your belly out at the same time. Very good, and out. You need to practice this, okay? No, no, no. When you breathe out, your stomach goes in. Breathe in, your stomach goes out. Breathe in, your stomach goes out. There you go. Breathe out, your stomach goes in. Do it again. Breathe into your belly. Belly. There you go. Breathe out, suck your belly in. This time, do it through your nose. Breathe into your nose, belly goes out. And out. Keep doing that.
Looser. Nice and gentle with that goat. Or am I? Did you crack these already today? I might have. <laughs> a bad habit, right? It's not terrible. There's worse things. Okay, true. I go like this, put your hands against me here. Push, 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 hard as you can. <laughs> nice. <What's> <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting anything to happen. All right. See what happens when you don't have expectations? Yeah. God, everything's yeah. a surprise. First time here. All right, ready to push the right, let, push the right elbow back. I'm here for it. All right, let's do this. Bring your chin down to your chest. I'm going to reach around the front and hold on to your elbow like this. Lean forward just a little bit. We're going to hold this up like this. Good. <laughs> this is insane. Nice. Okay. Get ready to the left side now. Same thing. Bring this up here like this. Okay, let this sit up. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to crack your ears now. Okay. Okay, right, left. Is one of these more tender than the other? Right. Right, left. Is one more tender? Right. Okay, I'm going to adjust this rib. Contact this rib on the front here like this, okay? Feel like let this arm down over here like mine. Keep this one up. Yeah, yeah, just for now. Okay. I'm gonna contact this with my thumb. We're gonna come underneath this arm. Good. Let your head, let your arms relax, and let your head come back. Good. We're gonna lift this up here. Now let your shoulders relax and just kind of like lean back on me right there. Good. Relax. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Did you feel how that cracked right underneath yeah. where my hand was? Yes. I think it was perfect. Yeah. It did like it doesn't hurt. Yeah. The reaction that I have, it's I think I'm like more shocked. Yeah, you are. Okay. All right. Well, the cool thing is, is they fixed your shoulders. Watch an elbow, even. Yeah. Let me check your hip. Okay. Better. Left, right, left, right. So one of these is more tender than the other. Or same. Um, They're gonna be the same. Yeah, it's about the same.
Hard you can. There's a high right shoulder and it's significant. It, oh. Alright, well the cool thing is, is I fixed your shoulders. Push, hard as you can. Nine. It's good. Relax.